Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new ClipChamp video editing app that comes with Windows 11. So depending on when you're watching this video, it may or may not be out yet. So I have an early release of it since uh, this computer here is on the Windows Insider program using the dev channel. So if you want to know how to do that, you could do a search for Windows Insider. And you could sign in with your Microsoft account. Uh, choose your insider settings. Just make sure you pick the dev channel and you're going to get the uh, most early releases, less stable releases too. So be aware of that. So if it's like your, you know, your only computer or production computer, you might not want to do it. I'm doing this on a virtual machine, so it's no big deal. So once you do that, you just pick this reboot, then you'll go to your Windows updates and you'll get the uh, early release versions and builds of Windows 11. Then you'll get this kind of cool stuff before other people do. All right. So anyway, so I have the app here. So I did a test video and rather than show you the whole creation process I'm just going to kind of go through the features and then show you my finished product quote unquote so you have all the categories here so like your media I have a couple of mountain biking videos and then you can do some you know how you want to record it if you want to record on the spot type of thing uh, if you want to use some templates there's a bunch of templates in there so I use one of these YouTube overlays for the uh, for the start of it here Resolution is kind of low because I'm because the way I'm recording the video, so it's I can't really fit much on the screen. So it's like a whole, whole YouTube intro, uh, music and sound effects. So you could add uh, music or sound effects. You know, if you don't like these, you could click on see more and so on. Stock videos. If you want to add some uh, video footage, you could do that. Some backgrounds and so on. Stock images. So like video frames, like I used a, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, so I used a couple of these video frames for my clips here, which I have down here, right there. So you put them on a separate line in your timeline there. There's the video clips, there's the uh, frames, there's the uh, audio clip, and I have like a little animated happy face, which I'll show you too. And then I also have a little intro, kind of fade in thing here. And then you could do text. So I have a couple texts. You know, I use this one here and I use this one here, which you'll see in the preview. So it has a little effect too. You kind of hover over it and see what it does. Graphics. So here's the uh, overlay. So this thing here, I believe, is, is this one here. So you can kind of add that to your timeline. And then you could just kind of copy and paste it if you want to do it more than once. Uh, transitions go between the videos. That's, um, let's see it. I like this, but there's actually little transitions back there. You just can't see it because of the resolution. So you kind of hover over there and you just kind of drag it in between your clips. And I'll give you a little transition in between them. And then what else we got? So when you click on a clip, because there's some kind of cool little filters and stuff here. So I use some of these filters, like I use this gloomy one and I use the cartoon one which you'll see in the sample here. And you have some transform options, adjust the colors, layouts, add some fades, change the speed of the video, and that kind of thing. So real quick, um, so there's the free version, which is what I'm using here. And you could do up to 1080p exports, and you could upgrade to other versions if you want some extra cloud storage or audio stock footage, or audio stock audio, or video, stocks footage and branding kits and whatever depending on how much you want to pay per month type of thing and then once you have it ready to go here you just uh, click on export and pick your resolution here and then you could create a video link or you could save it right to google drive upload to youtube tiktok save to onedrive dropbox and so on and it starts to automatically export the uh, video once you click on that so I'm going to close that because I don't want to export it again. And so when it does export it to your hard drive, it puts it in your downloads folder here. So I'll go ahead and play this here. And I'll just have the audio off so you can hear what I'm saying. So there's my quick little intro. Let's go back to there. My kind of basic one. And then there's my, my YouTube thing right there. And then there's my first uh, text effect with my green box.
So then right now the music will be playing over it. So there's my cartoon. There's my smoke effect with the text and the red box. And then there's my happy face spinning around there, which is kind of cheesy. And, you know, the th transitions are kind of quick, so you don't really notice them, which is too bad because they're kind of cool. It would be nice if you could really see them, like that little white fade-out transition there. And there's a little music thing that's going to the beat of the music. And a little violet hazy filter there that I used. And then there's a kind of gloomy black and white filter. So, you know, that's about it. So you, you could also use the uh, Windows uh, video editor that still comes with Windows 11 do the same kind of thing. It doesn't have as many features, but it does have all the cheesy little effects and adding clip art and animated stuff to it. So you might want to give that a shot and see which one you like best. But for now, I guess you'll have to wait till it comes out or do the uh, Windows Insider program and get it now if you want to start playing with it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.